Well, hey everybody, I hope that you're doing great. Happy holidays. I hope this time of year you can relax a little bit, but also get, get recharged and really get excited about 2021. I think most people are ready to put 2020 to bed and uh, for, due, for due reason. But hey, 2021, um, it's got some awesome opportunity and we can still plant some seeds right now in 2020 for that garden to really flourish in 2021. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a couple tips and that way we can talk about those, any questions that you might have. So as, as you're watching this video, watch it with intention. Watch it with a pen in hand or your phone out, however you take notes and come prepared with, with some questions for our, our January 5th meeting, which is our, our next meeting. All right, so so that you take this seriously, let's, let's get serious, okay? So in, in our last meeting, and by the way, our meetings now, everybody speaks. I've got a couple questions about this. So just remember, everybody speaks at our meetings now. And if you want to present or record an additional or even a, maybe a slightly longer video to get feedback, you can do that in the Facebook group, which I'll talk about here in just a moment. So in all of our meetings, come prepared with a speech. No other Toastmasters group is like this where you can truly get the feedback from the, from the lens and perspective of what a professional speech should be like, or a breakout session, or a training. So, so really take advantage of, of the peer group that you have. And also take advantage of being able to ask questions and, and get insights. All right, so check this out. So as a reminder, our website is paidtospeak.biz forward slash SPT. And on that website, it's, it's got a laundry list of some great resources for you. It has a reminder of our Zoom link as well as our meeting structure. Also, as I've mentioned already, come prepared with a speech and also watch the pre-recorded video like this prior to each meeting. You've also got a Facebook group. You've also got a member directory, which I encourage you to take a look at where we've listed two questions to get your goals. We have been approved for the Toastmasters Club, so make sure that you look into pathways. Also, take advantage of these great opportunities with our due structure. Um, you've got several great resources in front of you. I'm also going to be giving you free copies of my book, Paid to Speak. It's the audiobook links and also meeting recordings of our actual meetings each month. And here's a link to where the training videos are, just like this one, and Zoom video trainings. Because folks, Zoom video trainings, if you're not if you're not feeling 100% confident about Zoom, or if you're feeling like, hey, could you actually facilitate a meeting or be the keynote speaker and Zoom is the platform? Are you, are you comfortable with how to engage the audience with chat? Are you comfortable with how to do Q&A, how to facilitate breakout rooms, how to manage screen share, how to actually play a video, make sure the sound comes through the right way? Um, and there's other things that you really need to be, you need to, to really be confident about and have practice about. These are the reasons why if you come with a prepared speech, you can do all that and at least practice it out and get feedback. But these Zoom tutorials, I put these up on the website. These aren't my tutorials on Zoom. This is Zoom links. So if, if you've not looked at these yet, they're at the very bottom of the page. I would highly, highly encourage you to do that because this is how you're gonna be presenting virtually. Unless you're, calm, unless you're okay with not getting any speaking engagements in 2021 and you're okay with just waiting for in-person to come back maybe mid-2022, which I don't think that you are. I think we're all, I mean, that's why we're in this group. You got to be familiar with the platform that more, li that more than likely you're going to be asked to speak on. And, it's, and as a speaker, trust me, you, you, you got to be more than just willing to present. Sometimes you're going to have to, you're gonna have to uh, handle curveballs that come along along the way. So in our practice, again, in, in our monthly meetings, we should all be very confident, very, um, very tested with Zoom. Okay. And even if it's not Zoom that you might be presenting on, maybe it is a WebEx by Cisco or Microsoft Teams, or maybe another in type of internal system that they have. Just get familiar with presenting and be confident presenting um, online or virtually. Does that sound good? All right. I hope so. All right. So our website's got a ton of information about it. Now, in prep for our next meeting, and, and, and if, this is what 
I'm doing. Okay, and this is what I always, it's not just what I do for this video, it's also what I do for my own speaking business. So I would encourage all of you, if you haven't watched that previous training, because I'll be honest with you, if I can just be direct, I was a little disappointed that more people didn't, didn't come to our meeting prepared with questions. And I know it was one of our first meetings, I know we're still getting things moving, but this is how we're gonna operate for the next few months. So watch the video, as you're doing hopefully right now, watch it, write down questions of any of the content that I'm sharing so that you can ask me and anybody else in the group and, and come prepared because I don't feel like a lot of us came prepared for that first meeting. About half our members came with a prepared speech and I think less than that actually watched the video that I created. So point is, if you haven't watched that video yet, watch it now. Where to start? And that was the video. I gave you several tips on where to start, how to find the time, how to get organized, how to get yourself set up. And trust me, these aren't easy things, but how you get started is also how you stay consistent and also how you finish. So for all of us, because we're serious about our speaking business, and remember, one size does not fit all, but because we're serious about it, we're gonna have to apply many of these things that are, that are gonna get us started and get us moving, okay? Now, that's the first thing. So watch that video, Where to Start, and it's on our website. So just scroll down a little bit and you'll see it right there. Number two, folks, is this. I would encourage you, as you're thinking of your speech outline, which is module two in the book, Paid to Speak. So module one is about your goals and about your vision and, and uh, some other things we'll talk about today, but module two is gonna really help you with structuring your presentation. And it goes back, as you're, as you're outlining your speech, you have to be focused on the problem that you're looking to solve. Because excellent speakers, I mean, look at this right here, excellent speakers are amazing problem solvers. And content is extremely important. And you know, delivery is extremely important. And they need to be wed together like, a, like an amazing marriage. Uh, I don't think there's like a percentage of what comes you know, more than the other. But the point is this, in your content, if you're not focusing on how you're helping your audience and, and being able to share with them actionable takeaways, that they can apply to help them solve their problem, then, then all, all we're really doing, or all you're really doing, is, is talking. And I think that's where, you know, I think a lot of speakers, they, they confuse it a little bit. They think that they're there to, 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 to talk and share content. Yes, that, that's correct. But if that content is not positioned to help the audience solve problems, in their life, personally, professionally, both, that at some point, very soon in that presentation, you know what that audience member is going to be wondering? So what? Why am I here? What's in it for me? And I do believe most audiences want us to be successful because whether they're there by choice or whether they're there by force, <laughs> by their employer or to get that credit, Right? They don't really want to be there, but they have to be there. The point is, if you can focus on helping them solve problems, it doesn't, wa it doesn't matter why they're there. Because in the, in, in the first few minutes of your speech, if you're focused on, on how you're going to help them and you let them know what, you know what are some of the issues, that it makes them, also makes you very credible. That's how you get their attention. So yeah, the first few minutes is, is likability. It's uh, building that heartbeat, as you'll, as you'll hear more about in Module 2 of my book, which some of you already have. But, but the, the essence of this and what I want you to focus on in your, in your speech on January 5th, friends, I want you to focus on your problem. Give us a little five to seven snippet of one, one specific problem that you can introduce us to that you're helping your audiences solve. Okay? Because when you can focus on your problem, you know what you become? You become the expert, or at least the perceived expert. And if you are the perceived expert, you know what that makes you? That makes you hireable. 
So even for me, you know, I consider myself more of a, a motivational speaker, but I position myself as an expert in, starts with an M, ends with motivation, right? So I've been studying this for years and years and years. And as I outline my presentations, I let them know, hey, you know, how many of you by show of hands have to be self-motivated to do what you do? You know, and I, I look around the gallery, I look around at my live audiences in the past. There isn't one person that can't raise their hand to that. Everybody has to raise their hand. For all of us to be successful, we have to be self-motivated. So I position my expertise on how do we, how do we motivate ourselves and others? And then I explain why and I, I, I dive into that with some examples. So look, so, so for you, I really want you to focus on not just having content to share for your next speech. I want you to focus on the problem, just one problem, not five, not three. You don't have that much time. In fact, five to seven minutes really isn't enough time for just one problem. But help us understand what the problem is and then also help us understand at least one tip, maybe just one. That's probably all the time you're going to have. One tip on how you solve it. And as simple as that might sound, trust me, it's not. So as you're, as you're looking at your notes, and this goes back to that video, where to start, I gave you some tips on, on how to, you know, a speaker notebook. If you don't already have your speaker notebook, you sh look, you're, you're, these ideas inside your head are never going to come out. And if they're not coming out on paper or in your notebook, they're not going to come out in a speech either. That's why it's important to have a speaker notebook. You should have a ton of ideas right now on the ideas and the problems that you want to help people solve. And also your ideas will help you then figure out, okay, what story and what example and what, or what principle do I want to share that carries that problem? And then also, how am I going to help my audience to solve it? Right? So be a really good storyteller. That's another, another example. So, Anyway, I don't want to we'll let this horse walk out today. We're not going to beat it. <laughs> Pardon the pun, beat it like a dead horse. But we want and we have to become the perceived expert. And that is not just in our marketing of what we say we do, but it's also in what we deliver. Okay? So I hope that sounds good, is focusing on the problem that you solve. Okay? And... Folks, lastly, and, and this is kind of a little, a little bonus, I really want to push you to stand in your presentations. And I know some of you may not be ready for this quite yet. I'm not going to push you to, to you know, do a, a studio like I've done, which, to be honest with you, is a lot more simple than, than you might be perceiving. Knowing what I know now, I can help you set yours up in less than a weekend. Um, but at least minimally... I want you to start thinking about a dedicated space, probably where you're at right now. And if you can't stand where you are now, you gotta ask yourself why. Maybe are you locked into a desk? So I'm gonna be doing a training coming up where I'll show you, I'll take you behind the scenes and show you everything and how it's positioned for me. Um, I've got a desk right in front of me that everything's sitting on, but I'm standing and I'm three feet away from my camera. So even if you're, even if you're still doing your laptop, eye hole. Um, yeah, pu push it, push it back two or three feet, stand. You're going to want to test this out. You're going to want to have a monitor right in front of you so you can kind of see what, what, what the audience is seeing. But I truly, truly want to encourage all of you to stand because nobody, I'm thinking from the audience perspective and a meeting planner, my friends, a meeting planner is going to hire what they feel would be best. Like as a, from a speaker, for a speaker perspective, the meeting planner is going to hire the best speaker that it can deliver. So if, if you're sitting down and all you're doing is screen share, if, if you're even doing screen share, unfortunately, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, another speaker that they might be looking at that has a slightly better setup virtually, guess who they're going to hire? They're going to hire that other speaker. So don't let yourself be ruled out. And what, what I've... I get real passionate about this right now because one of the things that I've discovered this year, and this has been a real tough year for me too, a learning curve that I didn't expect and didn't even like, but I pushed myself through it. My virtual speaking, my virtual space, I don't even call it a studio anymore because I don't, I don't want to intimidate anybody, but 
my virtual space has gotten me practice. It, it is the reason why I've been able to keep my business afloat and then also have more speaking engagements on the books in 2021 than I did in 2020 a year ago. So it's low-hanging fruit because most speakers haven't done a daggone thing different. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe they've gotten familiar with Zoom, but their space and how they're presenting isn't a daggone way different. And as you, as you always need to be reminding yourself, meeting planners, conference organizers, speakers bureaus, agents, executives, whoever the people are that are booking speakers, and those are all the above, whoever they are, they are always to select the one number, the speaker, the speaker, they usually do it by ruling everybody else out. So you got to rule yourself in. So here's what, here's what I've done recently. I actually updated my virtual studio equipment. A few, of, uh, a few folks told me, hey, that link wasn't working anymore. Or this, this, uh, this item is out of stock. So what I did a couple days ago, I went back into my complete list that took me nearly a day to put together. And if, you, if you've not looked at this list yet, it's on my website, paytospeak.biz, and just click on the blog. Okay, just click on my blog and you'll see it there. And I'll, I'll even link to it as well in, um, in, in maybe the email that, or another way on our, on our club website. But here's my point. If you haven't looked at that yet, then you don't know what you're missing in a, in a sense. All I'm doing is giving you exactly the equipment list of everything that I'm using here, but also I'm giving it to you in three different options based on your budget. One of those is less than a thousand dollar budget to get set up with some sort of virtual space. And you might already have a lot of that equipment already. So it might cost you a daggone zero because you've already got it, but you just got to set it up the right way. So what I want you to do is to really prepare yourself in the next two weeks and push yourself in prep for our January 5th meeting to be standing. And don't do it for me. Do it for your speaking business. And, and I want you to keep doing it that way. Only when you're presenting. Only when you're presenting. Because the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to feel doing it as well. And that is the key. That is the purpose of our group. So in, in the virtual student equipment list, friends, I've got option one, option two, and option three. So option two actually has a nice DSLR camera like the one that I'm talking to right now. It's a nice, crisp, clean image. And option three provides multiple camera angle views. So I don't have my fourth or my third camera angle on right here, but it's got the whole kit in caboodle. And as you're looking at that list, one, one more thing I want to say, and I emphasize this throughout the, the whole document. Number one, if I can help, let me know. We can set up a, you know, a separate, like a coaching call, or if you have a, a quick question, let me know. But all... Uh, the way to look at it would be this. Your first speaking engagement should pay for the entire studio. And it's an investment that, number one, you can write off because it's a, a business expense. And you might even have office space now that can be written off. Consult your CPA. But it's also an investment, and not for short term, but for long term. Because trust me, you'll be able to use this equipment for a while now. Virtual will be here to stay in some way for quite a long time. Uh, in person, we'll come back, but never the same way that it's been. So virtual will always be a component of what's, to moving of what's moving forward. So treat this like a investment in yourself, okay? So folks, that's the quick video for coming up, uh, our meeting on January the 5th. So remember, everybody speaks. You'll be presenting in a small breakout room, maybe five, six people. Everybody will speak. And if you don't have a prepared speech, then you'll still speak. We'll have a, some sort of table topic question for you. Uh, get excited about the meeting. Uh, get excited about watching other speakers and also giving them feedback and hearing that feedback. Watch that video as well, the getting started if you haven't already. Focus on the problem. And then also really push yourself to stand. You'll be glad that you did. All right, friends. Well, we will see you on January 5th. Happy New Year, and uh, we'll see you in the New Year as well. So take care. Bye.